Welcome into another edition of Under the Bus, where three cranky old guys who've been thrown under some buses get our revenge, I guess. We're going to talk about the good in sports, but we're going to throw some people under the bus alongside Curry Kirkpatrick, Sports Illustrated legend and high school basketball coaching legend, Rich Pacerico. I'm Bob Stevens. You want to begin with multi-sport athletes because you were one and <laughs> and you covered exactly. you covered Dion exactly. and Bo Jackson yeah. and Austin Rivers, uh, son of Doc, right? Exactly. Yeah, and and now he NBA er, NBA this. commentator. Well, this he started week. this thing this week because he said there there are thirty players, thirty NBA players could go play in the NFL immediately right now, and that created a firestorm, <laughs> and all the athletes started get, getting in on this. 30. Of course, uh, Austin Rivers couldn't play either in the NBA or the NFL. <laughs> or the NFL. So. <laughs> but, uh, but Rich, you know, I mean, people, it's this, apparently this is a thing that NBA guys and NFL guys, when they get together, they talk about this, they kid each other right, about it. Right. And so it's an ongoing thing. And Charles Barkley, of course, came out and said, no, we, we can't play in the NFL. Yeah. We can't play. But, you know, LeBron... Everybody well, says, talks about him. He could might be, a, be able to. I mean, he's, a, he's a ter- obviously, he's a terrific athlete. He did play high school football. They talked about him maybe being a tight end or who knows. You know? Well, I, I'm thinking of two guys who who kind of made the transition. They played college basketball and then in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, Antonio, Antonio Gates, Gates right. great, and, and, and Tony Gonzalez. Antonio, uh, right. Two great they tight ends. They were two, that's right. again, tight ends. Uh, yeah. and that's kind of the position, I think. You know, you Antonio think, Gates, um, you say, did not play basketball in college until he went to Kent State. Right, right. He was recruited by Michigan State. I read this. He went to Michigan State, and he wanted to play both football and basketball. Basketball for Tom Izzo yeah. and football for somebody named Nick Saban. Yeah. And Saban said, no, you're only going to play football. So he left. He left went Michigan State, State, went to Eastern Michigan, ended up at uh, the College of Sequoias mm-hmm. for educational values. And then Kent State went and got him and said, well, come play basketball. And that's how he got the any Hall of Famer, you know, a yeah. great tight end. Tony Gonzalez played football and basketball right. at Cal Helpful. Berkeley. Yeah. Right. And I remember I did, a, I did a story on him one time as a college basketball player, yeah. and Cal, Cal made the NCAA regionals one year, and they were in Raleigh, played in Raleigh. And I went out to dinner after uh, you know, one of the regional games, and he, and he and some of the Cal players were in the restaurant. And I went over and said hi. And he thanked me for the story I wrote, which is yeah. very rare. You yeah. know, he said, I, you know, I know who you are. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. It was really cool. cool. Yeah. So I've always been a Tony a Gonzalez I've always been yeah. a fan, too, yeah. because of him being a basketball player and yeah. being such yeah. a great, great tight end. Not just that, great tight end. And Tony Hall Gates, of Fame. too. Right, and Tony Gates, too. Tight end. Yeah, there are some guys, I think, that could make, can make it happen. You know, go play in the NBA and play in the NFL and vice versa. Well, but, the other the, day. I think you count them on one hand. Yeah, <laughs> not many. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so not thirty. No, okay. absolutely not. Yeah, no. That's absolutely. what I say. Well, that's you know, insane. you know, uh, um, Rivers was on TV this week. He's still talking about this because right. they want to ask him about. It. He said now he goes in the airports and he's recognized now, which he never <laughs> was before. And people recognize him. And they just shout out to him. 30? 30? That's all, so he's known as That's 30. probably why he wanted to do it, to kind of get yeah. his name out well, there, you know? Because I, I think he wants to come back. There. He wants to come back to the NBA and wear number 30. Oh, well, yeah. well he, said the, he said the other day, look, look, I couldn't do this. I'm not one of the 30. And he said, but, but he said, you know, I am 6'5", 220. I've got a 40-inch vertical. And everybody yeah. goes, oh, whoa, whoa, what are you saying? You know, so he said, but... He said, I could probably, he said, I wouldn't last one tackle. Right. He said, you know, yeah, I'd be a tackle hit. would put me. Yeah, you know, well, they get hit by those guys in the NFL, yeah. the speed and the size yeah. they are. Those well, you know, wouldn't be able to handle well, that. yeah, because you, you can set moving screens in the yeah, uh, can, in the NFL. And these guys, and, and you can't flop. I mean, right. if you flopped off a yeah. moving screen in the NFL, they just laugh at you. Well, the other day during the, the Dallas, Oklahoma City playoff game, mm-hmm. uh, Mahomes is at the game. And he's sitting right behind the press deal. The CBS mm-hmm, guys, right. Hubie Brown was doing the game. Yep. And Mahomes was watching Lou Dort, the Oklahoma City uh, defensive player, mm-hmm. guard Luka Doncic. And Dort is a ma- you know, he's right. a terrific defensive player. And Mahomes kept telling him, that guy can play in the, that guy can play in our league. Right? Oh yeah, he said Dort can play in our league. <laughs> well, there's and he one, made so, one. That's, so that's one. <laughs> <laughs> he, made, he made one play where he smashed, you know, Luka to the floor yeah. again. 
and Mahomes apparently shout out linebacker, linebacker. <laughs> so Mahomes is, is is in on this yeah, stuff. Well, yeah. And I've seen him play basketball. I, right. You've seen Mahomes play sure. basketball. He was a really good basketball right. player in high school. Yeah. Well, so there are guys that could yeah, do. Yeah, I'm sure there things. are, but I don't know if he could play in the NBA. I think he's a good high school, maybe college. Yeah. He could play yeah. in the NBA. It's a whole different ball game. Well, you know, C.J. Stroud, you know, rookie yeah. year quarterback. Yeah. He played in the NBA celebrity basketball game, okay. and he was terrific. Was he? Oh yeah, he can play basketball. Wow. Stroud. So there's another guy. So there's two. There's all right, all right. Two, not thirty. <laughs> let's uh, let's use that as a great transition to Oklahoma City getting back in their uh, in, in their playoff series. Um, Are we S go to the SGA NBA right had thirty four. Well, we might as well, unless you've got more. You got, I got more? I got more miscellaneous people before well, we what? do. If we get an NBA nut, 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 nuts and bolts. But I like to throw some strange people under the bus. Throw some, uh, throw some strange throw people. Scotty Scheffler's baby. What's the, deal? <laughs> What's the deal? The baby just kept staying in there. Yeah. Scheffler missed Blame all him. these turns. Miss Nola, Miss New Orleans, Miss Dallas. Well, I was going to miss Ms. New Orleans. Miss Charlotte. Yep. yep. Because of this baby, so yeah. finally the baby is born, and I, Scheffler was the baby named anything. Bennett. The baby Bennett. Named Bennett. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah. not named Heritage. Not it's named after the RBC Heritage. Heritage. No, no, Augusta. no. Willie is the mascot of the RBC Heritage. They did not no name Willie. him Willie. Didn't Could name have. him Augusta. Nope, didn't course, name it he's him boy. Augusta. Yeah, they they might, and they didn't name him. Uh, you know, where, where are they this week? Let's see. They are in uh, uh, Kentucky. Yeah, they're in Kentucky. The Valhalla. PBA. They could have named him Valhalla. I mean, that's yeah, a, that not any great. nuttier than any of the well, other then, names then, we hear for kids these Scotty days. would have to win. Apparently, he was so um, impressed with fatherhood that he showed up Monday morning at Valhalla's <laughs> dinner. Don't, yeah. don't. I mean, he got out First of time he, he could. He yeah. <laughs> changed diapers. Uh, yeah. so, so which one is more likely to win, since we're straying off the path? Uh, <laughs> which one is more likely to win uh, this week, uh, Scotty or Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods. Oh, okay. Is he playing again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, or, he's, how about he's Rory, there. How about Rory McIlroy? No, I don't or, think so. Who won at Val That's his last yeah. major with right. Valhalla. He's on a two-tournament winning streak. Yeah. He destroyed the field at Charlotte. I would still take the I field like over all three of those guys put together. You would? Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't think Roy can win again. I, that's but he's that's, won that's won he's gonna win. Of course he's going to win. Did you see him in Charlotte last week? He was terrific down the stretch. He made eight. What he he was eight terrific. Under, eight holes in one he's, got, he, he's got 145 guys who've got to stay behind him this week. I, I've I got just another don't see golfer that's going under. Yeah, yeah. Nelly Corda. Oh. What to do? Five straight tournaments. And she can't finish up. She, she wasn't even she close. 17 shots yeah. behind. 17 strokes behind. Nelly Gorda, what are you doing? Well, you know, she went to the Met Gala. You know that? Yes. She appeared in the Met Gala. Yes, she did. At a gown by Oscar De La Renta. <laughs> and her boyfriend is apparently a hockey player in the NHL, plays for the Blackhawks. He's one of these foreign guys. Well, I wouldn't be well, surprised. Canada, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Nelly Gorda, what are you doing? I mean, Got to be concentrating. Think she'll right? win again. I think she'll. Yeah, she might, yeah, yeah, she might win again sometime. <laughs> like maybe this week. <laughs> Although they're playing in the backyard uh, or the place where Rose Zhang, who won this tournament. past week, yeah. she who won her first tournament last oh. year. They're at Liberty National, actually. They're they're up okay. in New York, yeah. and uh, and that's where she won her first tournament last year. Well, and she's supposed to win every week. She's. I mean, she's, she's every good. Week. She's good. Uh, well, although she's, she's not Nelly Corda. She's what twenty. Yeah, oh, she's twenty. Zhang she's out of Stanford. No, she's not out of Stanford. Oh, she's, she's still, still in yeah. Stanford. Yeah, wow. that's the coolest part is she didn't leave school. So she's playing that's on weekends. She's still in school, still going to get her degree kind of around her. it. I mean, it's only Stanford. It's not like it, you know, academic uh, rigor or anything. Didn't Tiger at Woods went to Stanford. For, yeah, 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 he doesn't have that's his degree either. That's I did a story on him. You and I, I are both. did a story on him there. Yeah. When he was a freshman, I was working at Newsweek then. Okay. And we kind of introduced... America to Tiger Woods because I, I looked mm -hmm. at this guy and I finally got the editors Newsweek to do a story on golf and they sent me out there and so that you know I met Tiger. He used to practice at his dorm. He practice chip shots over the dorm. <laughs> he would get out in the grass and hit mm -hmm. from the front of the dorm to the back of the dorm over the thing. He couldn't even see him over the building where they landed over the building. Yeah, it was neat. Did he go to class? I don't think so. <laughs> Did he need I to? Know. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't need to. Exactly. I mean, as long as he can sign his name. In, in today's okay. today's day. So so now now that we've hit all this little miscellaneous, you ready to go back well, to the I NBA? I guess so we got a break here. Don't yeah, let's break. let's let's do a little break. Come we'll on. come back and we'll talk some serious NBA and WNBA. All of that when we come back and throw some people under the bus.
We welcome you back to Under the Bus. Bob Stevens alongside Rich Basirico and, and uh, Curry Kirkpatrick. You guys are laughing already. <laughs> well, well, because I didn't wait no. for any. Uh, <laughs> well, we're, if we're going to do NBA, I'm laughing at Rich yeah. because of the Knicks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's, he, let's, I, I want to see what he has to Tell say. Tell us about the Knicks. Let's see what right. he has Tell to us say about now. those Knicks. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here's one thing I love about the Knicks. Brunson makes no excuses. Even the That's guys right. are out, hurt, everything else. He says, hey, it's on us. we got to come to play. We didn't come to play. He, you know, a lot of times these guys say, well, we got this guy missing and this guy is missing and all that stuff. He's no excuse. He's a, he's a winner, without a doubt. But, you know, everybody's going nuts because they got beat up so bad. I think they lost by uh, 32 points, right? Mm -hmm. Which, it's a loss, you know. Yeah. And, and I it's did, only they, one loss. Right, and they yeah. did get hammered. That's true. But the Celtics lost their second game by 24. No one was saying, oh, Celtics are done. They're done. They lost by 24. Um, I don't think I, the Knicks have to win tonight. They have to. If they don't win tonight, it's over. Tuesday night. We're talking about Tuesday night. Yeah, back, Tuesday back night. In yeah, back in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. in the garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got, you know, there is some, I read this, there's some statistical service that measured Brunson and figured out that he's, he's jumping two and a half inches less in the two games in Indianapolis oh, right? than he did. Who does that? What is that? It's, Who it's, does that? It's the higher air. It's time, the altitude. You, you talk about time on your hands. <laughs> Who are these people that have, have the time to measure Brunson? But, 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 but you're right. That's why you, you got to like Brunson. But Rich, the, the Knicks have come to the edge now. Hart, Hart admitted after game four, you know, yeah. when they got blown out, that he was tired. Okay. He's played it. He played every, every single right. What is Thib Thibodeau Tibbs, doing? I, I don't know. I mean, I you know, that's his, that. that's his uh, reputation yeah, it, it is. for blowing well, guys know, out. During the regular season, he has a nine-man rotation. He gets in the playoffs, he goes with a seven-man rotation. He gets guys, I tell you what, if you get on his whatever reason and get in his doghouse, you might as well go sit in the bleachers and eat popcorn because you're not getting in the game. You, you're the coach. You've done a nine-man rotation all season. You've been pretty successful right. with it. And the guys understand. You shorten it up a little bit. Sure. Guys don't get as many minutes. But, but what about players eight and nine who are used to playing? they got to play. And the guys who are four and five who are used to sitting a right. little more. And when they've now, gotten in, they've played well. Bur do? Very well. Burks and, yeah, and yeah, Precious. 14 and then and over 20. Well, and you haven't even mentioned, they're missing an Anobi. Is that right. Anobi right. hasn't played. Correct. And it's a big, that, that big is factor. A big, it is I mean, a big you know, loss. He's but, their best defensive yeah. player. But, but I want to go score. I want to go to the other side and my, my boy Rick Carlisle. Because <laughs> I think this series changed when he went crazy after yeah, the rest of the second game. Without a doubt. I mean, it's an old Phil Jackson, Pat Riley, you know, during the playoffs, you talk about the refs early on, and it gets in their mind, and now, you know, they go into Indianapolis for two games, yeah. and obviously, Call they're going to get, right. you know, uh, Carlisle said he sent a note to the refs, 78 calls in the first two games went against him, that they, you know, he was really upset about the first game, right. where the Pacers were denied two possessions mm -hmm. in the last minute, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, uh, the phantom, uh, call on the phantom kick call right and then the call where davenzio has the name fouled him. yeah well but the, but it was a it was a screen they yeah. call the foul and davenzio sprawls back right. on the court like, like he's ryan gosling and in, in, in the fall <laughs> guy which is a great movie by the way but he looked like a stuntman on that play so that's what carlisle was yeah. upset about and he goes nuts and it, you know and then game three they went on a miracle shot, by the way. Surely. Um, what, what's his name? His from, what was it, 31 feet? It yeah. was like a, you know, and they, but, but Indianapolis outplayed them. They've outplayed them in they three have. of the four games, they really. Have. Yeah, and they, they actually could be up three to one yeah. right now, well, without, and, without a doubt. But Rick Carlisle, you know, he goes after that move, and I've known him forever. He was, I've known him since he was a player at Virginia. Okay. And he was one of the first transfers, I remember. He transferred from yours to Maine to Is play at right? Virginia, well, I didn't know that. and he played with Ralph Sampson mm -hmm. on the Ralph Sampson mm -hmm. teams, and Carlisle played in the biggest upset in the history of college basketball when Chaminade mm -hmm. beat oh, Virginia great. in Hawaii. Oh, so he was in that game? He was not only in the game, he missed 14 of 21 shots. You know, they circled Sampson, right. uh, Ralph Sampson, right. so Carlisle was supposed to shoot the ball. He missed 14 of 21 shots wow. in that game. Nobody remembers that, but you know, I do. That's a good part but, of history. Yeah, that's, that's well, cool. and he went on, he played, Rick We should Carlisle remind him of that. Played in the, <laughs> well, he played in the Final Four with Virginia. Yeah. Yep. He then went to the NBA, wasn't a very good player, but he's one of like 10 or 11 guys to play on an NBA champion and coach an NBA champion. Very few guys, oh, wow. he's done that. 
Remember with Dallas, he mm -hmm. coached Nowitzki yes, when yes. they won. Yeah. And so... Uh, and he's the only guy in NBA history to, uh, well, yeah, to, to coach and play an NBA champion and lose to Shamanad. Exactly. Well, so, exactly. That's, that's exactly. Right. That third but, but you know, when he was in school, he's now a licensed pilot, and he's a he's a brilliant piano player. Wow. When he was at Virginia, Virginia would go on these road trips and they'd check into hotels to play. First thing he'd do, he'd go to the ballroom and that's check fine. out the grand piano, and he'd play. And he still plays, and he's a big friend of a friend of mine um, named Bruce Hornsby. I don't know oh, if you yeah. know Bruce yeah, Hornsby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Hornsby a long time ago in a in a lobby in New York, I went up and introduced myself because I was a big, this was before he got pretty big, and he knew I was because he's a basketball freak. He played basketball in high school. Okay. He claims that he outscored Allen Iverson, <laughs> this is Hornsby, in a, Virgin, in a game in Virginia. And I, Iverson said there's no way. But anyway, <laughs> so because he's a Virginia guy. That's because Iverson was at practice. <laughs> but, and, and Hornsby Definitely. lived outside Charlottesville. Okay. He's a big buddy of all the Virginia players. Okay. And he's a big friend. And so whenever um, Carlisle is at a Hornsby concert, Bruce brings him up on stage to right? play piano. Yeah. Wow. I've been in a couple of them. And, That's cool. Uh, yeah. Hornsby then, you know, a few years ago, when the Grateful Dead reunited, they had they had Hornsby be the piano player, okay. and they had a three-day sold-out concert in Soldier Field in Chicago wow. on the Fourth of July, and I sat with Rick Carlisle did you, watching. Did you go? Oh yeah, I went. Hornsby got me tickets, but all his tickets were Virginia guys. Right. So Wally Walker and all that, oh, yeah. and Rick Carlisle, and I sat with him the whole concert. So I was going to say, who, you know, who, who which one of them would sit with you? Yeah, with your light yeah. blue on. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Who, who would sit with you for, yeah. for that concert? <laughs> so uh, there's another guy I love though, because of that. All right. Carlisle. So now you're a Pacer fan? Is that yeah, what you're telling me? Yeah, big time. Big oh, time. Because I hate ah, the Knicks. Good. Because I hate the Knicks too. So. <laughs> what do you hate the Knicks for? Because <laughs> I like them. Obnoxious. <laughs> They're obnoxious. <laughs> I mean, the Nova, the Nova Knicks, I'm tired of Oh, you gotta of, love I'm, that. I'm you have to love I'm that. I'm tired of it. No, no, you don't. You know, I told you last no, you week don't. about my relationship with, no, with Nova, so know, whatever. Jay Wright, you don't love Jay Wright? <laughs> let me, let me, we haven't even talked about the champions. The Denver Nuggets, and how about they? Were, they're well, let, we should talk about the West yeah. a little bit. Denver has come, gotten off the deck. Well, yeah, uh, two you, games. And I think going about that. Speak, and, speaking of you know, this team is dead. I think people have pretty much thought right. they were dead well, when well, we about, Minnesota. We, we were that's what I'm about saying. Minnesota winning the whole thing. Well, don't you don't just think the commissioner ears silver save them because Murray. A lot of people thought Murray, you know, who threw the heat pack That's on right. the game during game two he should, be should have been suspended Absolutely. for game three Without if he suspended that game this series is over That's right. silver has saved the Denver That's Nuggets correct. don't you think Absolutely. because Murray exploded Murray should have been thrown he's just been suspended but Murray exploded in Minneapolis he exploded correct he went crazy game was over early right. and the game was you know he's played great in Minneapolis so, but, so, but, does, so who wins it now does Denver get, does Minnesota that's, get back that's off the deck? Great. Well, Minnesota has to win. They play tonight, right? They right, yeah. Minnesota tonight. wins by 7 and 26, then Denver wins by 27 and 8. Yeah, but they're in so, Denver tonight. I think Denver wins. I think they, Denver. They, I mean, they're showing, you know, they're champions. I yeah. mean, and they don't know right. how to do this. Well, that experience, and, you can't and, uh, teach And Jokic right? is still the best player in the world to me. Yeah, he was named MVP again, I mean, right? well, yeah. And, you know, during the week, he's named MVP, and they're, they're looking to get swept. Everybody think he's going to get swept. Yeah. It's going to be a big embarrassment. And he goes nuts. Of course, in, at the end of game four last week, uh, and the Ant-Man <laughs> is like talking trash to Murray. Did you see that? Huh? He's, he's, right. So well, he well, wants Ant-Man's all over the place. You know, he says, I don't want to be compared to Michael Jordan. And not the last game, but the game before he had 19 in the third quarter and didn't score again. Didn't score again. If you're, yeah, you're going to be played. the next yeah, Michael but so Jordan. He, so he had 19 in the second half. He right? <laughs> just but if you're going to be the next okay. Michael Jordan, you got to be. You got to yeah. take that game and he play it home, bring game. it home. He played great game. Oh four. yeah, he did. He's he did. a terrific player, Rich. He's, he's, he, oh, he's t yeah. outstanding. He yeah. he could be the next Michael Jordan. Yeah. Oh, Oklahoma City and Dallas are now tied at two after last night's win they by uh, Oklahoma, City Oklahoma City in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, Doncic held to six out of twenty. Six out of twenty. And he and, missed uh, the key free throw. He had yeah. two free throws to tie the game with about it was under a minute left. He missed the first free throw. So then Dallas is chasing the whole rest of the game, minute. And, you know, it costs him a game. He's, Dallas yeah, he's saw, hurt, too. He's you know, hurt. His knee and his ankle. He's, you know, think of all the yeah. major players. Murray, first two games when they lost, 
was hurting with his yeah. calf. And all of a sudden, I don't know, he healed that well, but he's, he's playing. And Mitchell through. missed game four he against missed, Celtics. And, and, and they hung with they 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 him. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. But that, team, teams, teams will do that. Right. I mean, that's good that uh, they would do it once. Uh, so who wins this whole thing? That, that's the beauty. Wow, this might be this, one of the best yeah, NBA that's, playoffs that's true. we have seen because there is not – Okay, it's them, and somebody's going to have to upset them. Right. I mean, everybody's well, you know, there. The Celtics are going to get to the finals. You, th- you got to believe that. The Celtics are going to get to the finals. I mean, the Knicks aren't going to. If Knicks get there, they're not beating them. Indianapolis is not beating them, in my opinion. Okay. Well, on the West, yeah, could be Denver. Uh, it, heck, I like, Minnesota I like could be Denver. down. I, I still like them. You do? Well. well, they got the best player. Well, we all like Minnesota got, and their a week ago. And, uh, yeah, they, I can know, see them uh, repeating. But it, you, been know, there. you know what was interesting to me in the Oklahoma City Dallas game? Uh, John Calipari was there, courtside. See this? No. He's got, what, you know, he's got split emotions because he's got Kentucky players all over the yeah. NBA. He's got, I think, three of them in this series. He's also got, he's now the Arkansas coach. Right. right. So he's got two guys from Arkansas playing against each other in this series. Of course, Gilgis Alexander gets 34 in, in uh, game four. And uh, his other guy, P.J. Washington, is now a star in Dallas. Dallas yeah. He's, He's a Kentucky good. guy. So there's Calipari sitting there. and Is he trying to get that? any of them to come back? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when, you know, we, we said this once before. Yeah. When you oh. think of the players that he had at Kentucky. Oh, here we go. It's He's going to kill him now. Guys, how well they're playing in the NBA. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. Well, and, and is that not what Professor Calipari uh, would say to you? Hey, yeah. my job is to get them ready to play in the NBA, and he obviously... Well, how about get them ready to play in that college done, huh? and win some championships? <laughs> that's oh, just what they pay him Rich, for. Rich, you're such a hater. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, just, have... I want to meet the guy that's measuring uh, Jalen <laughs> Brunson's <laughs> jump, jumper, how many inches he's out of the because tonight he's going to have to bring it up to two and a half more inches. What well, do you think of all the shots that he missed the last? He's short. He's, he's short. Really, he he's short. He's short. Really. So this guy is right. Yeah. Yeah. If he's short, but, but you know who's defending him now? A couple of guys. And and one of them is from where? Porter got in Charleston. He's done the job on him. Aaron Nesmith. Oh, Nesmith is. Oh Porter. my! He's been all over him. All over him. And that's Carlisle made that big change that's after right. game two. That's a, and that's a major he's change. he's taller and he's stronger in Brunson. But then he brings in this guy McConnell. Yep. And I remember him in Arizona. Arizona, yeah. He's terrific. He is. And he, he'll fight you. Right. He's a, he wants to fight guys. That's right. And he comes in, and I think he does a great job on Brunson. Both of them. You put yeah. both of them. They wear him down. They wear, and they they bring wear him, him down. They're bringing him up full court. That's right. Checking him. And make, so, him, make him work to get yeah, the ball. That, okay. That's great strategy. Carl did that. Yeah, really. Know, he well, did. That was terrific. All right. Really when, when we come back, we're going to throw some other people under the bus. We're also, though, probably going to elevate the WNBA. It begins uh, this week. Well, we'll talk a little NFL, too, because they're going to announce the schedule, and I've already got two of the games inked in. I'm ready to go. (laughs) We'll be back with that when we come back out of the bus. Welcome back under the bus. I wish we could take all the stuff we talked between the breaks and, and, and get it out there. So let's let's go at it. Uh, Rich Basirico, Curry Kirkpatrick, I'm Bob Stevens. We're talking, we were talking NBA. Uh, WNBA starts uh, tonight, yep. Tuesday night. Caitlin Clark, uh, right. teams are moving Tuesday home games. Night. Yes. For, for, right. Right. Teams are yeah, moving right. home games into bigger arenas because Caitlin Clark's coming to town. A couple of teams have already done it. A couple of more are getting ready to move their games so they can handle all the people right. that come in and, and see her, her play. coach and I were just retired this week. After <laughs> well, can't, well, yeah, well, can't go anywhere. Can't I, go I anywhere. would think yeah, yeah, that's yeah. probably one of the smartest moves. Well, how about, before again, how about yeah. the NBA lottery now? They no, let's, chose, let's go to they that. Team. And guess who won the NBA lottery? Atlanta, uh-huh. the Atlanta yeah. Hawks. Yeah. They get chance. the first pick. You know what they're going to do? Chance. They're going to draft the quarterback. <laughs> oh, a, you, you've I, been working I, on I that all weekend. That, yeah. I still that one. I still that one. But, no. That's a good one. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, but you got some NFL yeah. games for us. Well, I, I, we got the first two NFL or We know of the first game, yeah. and we know of, again, thir- oh, Wednesday night, uh, the, they're going to actually reveal the whole schedule. But the season opening game will be the Ra- Kansas City, of course, gets yeah. to open. We knew that. The Ravens at Kansas City. That'll We've be seen good. It. We just saw that. 
This is not a couple well, months yeah, ago, right? But, but we're, we're going to see the new and improved. Know, but come on. And, yeah. and, and actually, the good now, thing is your second game the good thing is oh, the is that is, is that she can uh, is that uh, Taylor already has the, <laughs> kept the program. <laughs> she kept the program from the other Kansas City yeah, Baltimore game, so she it. she knows who the other guys are. Yeah, that'll, right, that'll, right. that'll be very well, very helpful. City will be out a wide receiver, right? Because he'll be in prison. Oh, the guy. Oh, no, Rashi Rice? Yeah, yeah, yeah it could be. The guy that wrecked his life. <laughs> no. Over to you. He's what getting Trump's it? lawyers. <laughs> that, I think he'll never go to trial until 2032. Will you say you have a second game yes, already? Yes, uh, a second the game, game already. Brazil? No, not the, Bra well, the Brazil. Yeah, the Brazil game is. Okay, so I've got a third game. Who's going to? First weekend, Cowboys at Cleveland. That's Cowboys, been, Browns. Well, well, because it's Tom Brady's debut as a Fox analyst, oh, wow. the only guy getting paid more than the two quarterbacks probably involved, uh, Dak and, uh, well, and uh, he, Deshaun if he, Watson. If he's as good as he was in his roast, he'll be fine. <laughs> Will oh, this wow. be a roast? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, this, I watched that roast. Turn into? Holy did you? Oh, Lord. So yeah. We talked about that last yes, we, did. Rich, we did. all the lines. I know. I'm just telling you, I saw it. But you're right. You know, the line he was upset about was the line I used last week in the roast, which I liked, which was uh, uh, Ross, the roast master right. general said that, you know, Brady, upon meeting Kraft for the first time, mm -hmm. he said, Mr. Kraft, do you want a massage? Right. And apparently that's the line that Brady got upset with. He, he, he said he went over the guy and, and he said, don't do any yeah. more yeah. of that right. stuff. Right. But there there were some other Kraft stuff yeah. they did later. But, yeah, yeah, and Giselle was upset, apparently. Very upset. Well, I, All right. whatever. All right. Any All other right. NFL we want to get I'm into? Going, I, got, I got a couple of quick notes. Jared Goff just got a, and we need to acknowledge it, I know we don't need to dwell on it, a $212 million a year, or, or, or million dollar deal, 120 of it, 170 of it guaranteed, $53 million at average season. That's $3 million a game. Three million dollars a game. How many is that per interception? Yeah, that's, is, that is that the highest? Is that the highest? No, uh, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's Burrow right. at fifty-five right. million. Right. So, so Jared took took less money. He didn't have to be number one. I'll be okay at number two at one hundred and seventy million guaranteed. What if, if you million. get hurt, you still get paid. Like Burrow's still going to be. You know, he'll go out the second. That, well, that's the difference between that. Total contract money and the guaranteed, guaranteed money. money right. The guaranteed money you're going to get. So 170 is pretty well, darn good. Well, goes out in the second week. Again yeah, this yeah. Year. So he's not getting. He's not gonna get he probably guarantee. won't get the whole. Right. Well, whatever he was going to. Do you think Goff is worth it? They're going to take care. Of. Well, the amazing thing was is he was traded by the Rams for a to reason. get Matt Stafford. Right. Yeah, for a reason. You know, and they and the Rams also threw in two number ones to get him or to to get Stafford. Two number ones and Jared Goff. To get Matt Stafford, and hey, well, Jared it's a perfect Goff's example when you're surrounded by good players, Hello. you have success. Good running back, or, or in a good system, and in a system that plays to whatever it is you yes. do. It's not even June, and we're talking about the NFL. Sure. Right. All the NFL on. is twelve I mean, months, months out of the year. Twelve months out of the year. I was talking right, about Drake go. May. I, go. I was talking about Drake May. They've, well, already, they've already said he's not going to be ready to be a starter in the NFL. Well, good. Oh, he but shouldn't. He probably isn't. He says his footwork is not. He's not <laughs> he ready. He probably to isn't. <laughs> and of course, they say uh, Williams with the Bears is light years ahead of everybody. But how do they know that? They had mini camps for three days. Now, you've made a decision in three days who you're. What do they say be? about Danny Desperation, your Giants quarterback? <laughs> I mean, come on. Why are we talking about this? I want to talk about the NHL. Let's go to hockey. Because oh, I know you have become, you're a big, you're a big hockey guy. You have become a huge hockey guy. You know, a Carolina right. Panthers, Carolina Hurricanes guy. I can't, yeah. can't remember their name. They're playing the Rangers. No, the Rangers and are. Uh, I just, yeah. I just am amazed how there's so many blown leads in these hockey playoff games. I mean, Vancouver, uh, uh, Edmonton was a game. Uh, Edmonton was up three love. Vancouver won the game, and now they're ahead in the series. Um, there's another team. They, they, well, they, blew these three three, they were up three games. Three zero. games to one. Yeah, but three, in, three, but three in that loss, series, yeah. Carolina was ahead of them all three games. Yes. And and ended up. Uh, now, now it's 3-2. Now the right. Rangers are in trouble because they're going back to Carolina. Correct. Yeah. But I want to point out the Russian takeover of the NHL. I mean, it's complete now. I mean, the NHL, I call it the R-I-F-T, Russian immigrants having fun. Because <laughs> in the Carolina, in game three, just, just as a point, in game three of Carolina Rangers series, okay, okay which the Rangers came behind to win, so they're up three. But in that game, the goalies were Igor Shesterkin from Russia, and the Canes had their second string goalie played, Pylori Kochetkov, okay? The Canes start from Russia. The Canes star wing is Andrei Sheznikov. 
The Rangers star is player who got the winning goal is Otemi Panarin, and they call him Bread, which is great. You know, yeah. I, his name is Panarin. All of those guys from Russia. The winning goal in uh, in Game Five for, for um, Carolina was scored by another Russian, Evgeny Kuznetsov. All these guys, you know, hockey fans know all these guys. I'm sort of new to it, but. What's happened here? It's all Russia. Oh, you're not going to get me to rag on the on the Russians because I was a Red Wings fan when they were the first ones to bring all the oh, Russians yes. over and won a couple of Stanley Cups well, with them. Uh, so I, I, there you go. I love I mean, them. They're they're, they're terrific. Uh, hey, that's I would say that's the American way, but because it kind of is. Go get the best players you can find wherever they are in the world. Bring them over and let them play. Well, and there's now all these controversies. You know, the, the Bruins, um, Mar Marchand. Mm -hmm. who's a member of the Rat family, and he's not exactly popular. But he got blasted by this guy, Sam Bennett, from Florida, mm -hmm. from Florida in Game 3. And all the replays, they didn't even give Bennett a penalty, but all the replays show Bennett gave him a sucker punch as he's hitting him. And they, the NHL did not see the key replay until two days later. And then it went all over, and they say Bennett should be a smash. But he was a sucker punch. You could see yeah. it. He smashed him. Then in the, in the next game, the key game, the last game they played, Bennett pushed a guy, pushed a Bruin into the goalie mouth. The puck came loose, and Bennett flipped it into the game for the tying goal. Florida went on to win. I mean, Bennett's become like villain number one in Boston. He's 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 Bucky Dent all over here. I mean, <laughs> it's um, or or Roger Goodell, but, who all but, the but, but Boston they, fans hate these guys. He's become villain number one. It sounds like villain number one Sam should be Bennett. the referees in both cases because they didn't catch either one. They yeah. didn't f fix it when they had the chance. Well, the officials are getting hammered in every oh, sport: yeah. basketball, yeah. hockey. They're all yeah. getting hammered. Well, the, to get back to the NHL, yes. Edmonton, of course, has uh, um, uh, Connor McDavid, who's right. the young face of the league. After the horn, you, the last game Edmonton and in Vancouver played, Vancouver wins the game. After the horn goes on, uh, uh, McDavid, who his detractors call Mc, McJesus, they call him McJesus, which is great, I love that. But he went up and slashed the, the Vancouver player mm -hmm. in the leg. Mm -hmm. This is after the horn goes off. The game's over. It's behind the goal, the goal mount. And a Vancouver guy comes and he gets McDavid from behind and the Vancouver guy in front of McDavid, who he slashed, he puts a stick in his face. I mean, they crushed this guy. I can't believe he skated off. Mm -hmm. And they gave a $5,000 fine to the guy that got him from behind. They suspended the guy that got him from behind, because he's the face of the league. And they crushed the face, they crushed his face. And yet, when all of these series end, the guys line up and shake each and other's shake hands. hands. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and hockey yeah, is the only yeah. sport that does that. And uh, that's true, once right. you leave high school, they're the only sport that's that does right. that. And it's still, uh, it's Well, they do it in cool. college basketball, but then they get in fights. <laughs> <laughs> they get in punch outs. They get in punch outs, you know? Well, guys uh, say something. But to make them, uh, you know, in college basketball, it's kind of a passing thing. It's right, almost like they, yeah. they make them go to the other locker room kind of thing. And yeah, But, and but in, in not, hockey, they, they actually you can kind of clear the ice and line everybody up. College Can't basketball, the head coach is pulling the, the better players aside and say, you want to transfer our school? we got a lot of money for you. <laughs> Let me ask you, as a coach, do, 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 do you have that in high school basketball? Do they meet? After? They don't do that. Yes. The game. They do? Absolutely. And shake? Mm -hmm. Did you ever have any problems and no. guys going, no. you know, want to never fight? Had, never had a problem. No. Ever had a problem with another coach who wanted to fight? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Anything else in your notebook? Yeah, I All do right. have a notebook. Throw somebody speaking, under the bus. Speaking, Throw somebody under the bus. Speaking of coaches, I want to ask you about this. The NBA, before COVID, you know, all the, all the NBA coaches used to dress up. Yes. They're really great dressers. Yes. Chuck Daly, mm -hmm. boy, was one of the yeah. great. Larry Brown. Yes. After COVID, they all went, you can wear whatever you want. Right. So they went to the track suits, and, yeah. and then they all matched. Um, when you were a coach, did you get dressed up for games? Yes. You put on a sport coat? Yes. Without didn't doubt. wear the track outfit? Never. Was there never, any rules? Never wore a track outfit. Were there any rules or anything? No, you could wear never. Whatever just you wanted? coaches back then just did. We wore a jacket and, and, a, and a tie. Occasionally, coaches would not wear a sport jacket. They would just wear a tie. I told you the story where I had my jacket, didn't I? Yeah, right? throwing in the air. No, but throwing what, on the floor. But is, are there new rules now? They no, there's no whatever. rules. It's no rules. I think COVID just came along and people just relaxed. You know, like, when you think about it, a football coach is, doesn't typically wear a tie on the side. There's a, there's a couple guys. Baseball, wear, they're in a well, baseball uniform. Football, they don't want you. In the NFL, they don't want you to yeah. because they've sold 
the gear right, that they all true. wear. That the guy, the guys who wore ties but, got in trouble. Right. But college basketball, too, and you said the NBA, but college basketball. How about Jay it's Wright, the way good. he used to dress Oh, yeah, well, he was, and he was now the best. And now you see best. a few guys who wear a tie. Well, it's gone down from college. I wondered, if, has it gone down to high school now yes. where they're wearing Oh, without a doubt, suit? guys, because no, I go no to jackets. now and I go, I look at a guy, they're guy just one guy's had a hat on. like, come on, you coach with a hat They had a hat on? Yeah, wearing a Yankee hat. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. like It blew my mind, you know, but people have gotten away from wearing a tie. Jerry Faulkner continued, when he coached his last year, he continued to wear a, a jacket yeah. and a tie. Well, to it get was the back, way we coached, just yeah, the way it was. Well, the NBA, this guy for Oklahoma City was coached here, Mark Dano, young, young guy. Yeah. He's taken it all the way down to t-shirt. I mean, he's yeah. wearing like white t-shirts. They look like the, the cleanup crew. Right. His, and he's got all his assistants. But they're not really nice, they're not track jackets, they're right. just t-shirts. And, I, you know, I'm as somebody best. that liked her, I liked, yeah, yeah I they're liked all the under dress. I, I, I like the boy, dress. I didn't, you know, I didn't, they look like the cleanup crew, yeah. but your boy Thibodeau, oh, he wears a black t-shirt. I mean, he looks like the janitor. Because, <laughs> you know, all of, already, he's a very unglamorous character to look at. Right. He's scowling, he's moaning, he's crying, he's whining all the time. I mean, he, ne Rich, Tom Thibodeau never looks like he's having any fun. What's the deal? But he and is. now he's dressing in black t-shirts, and he, he totally looks like the janitor. I mean, get the mop, Tibbet. We'll have to clean it up. What's the deal? I mean, come on. Better than prison orange, I guess, right? He's really taking <laughs> orange it down. Orange will be there. the new black. But, but all the, but all the NBA guys have really they scaled brought down. it down. They, they scaled really down. They really have. In college basketball, too. It's a little disappointing. But I, was I always like guys getting dressed yeah, up. Yeah, I do, too. It was classy. But I was noticing Dano has taken it now down to another yeah. level. T-shirts and Thibodeau yeah. T-shirts. There's no oh. rules. There's they no know, rules. by the way, you know, he's an unbelievable success story. Remember, he was the manager for Jim Calhoun at Connecticut. Oh, I didn't know that. He's the manager of the, of the Huskies. And that's how, and then he got into coaching. Wow. And now he's the head coach in the NBA, Coach of the Year. And it's a pretty good story, pretty right? Good. Yeah, and now they're yeah, too, they're too old. Now, that was a great win for right. him last night to come back. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, he's really good. I mean, obviously. Now that we've, we've uh, devolved to T-shirts, that's probably about enough for, for one week. Uh, we'll, we'll talk By uh, the way, championships. I can, you guys can bring up your golf. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess you can, I just don't want to bring it up. He doesn't like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron letting his son <laughs> go to the NBA. <laughs> I, I, Rich, he has no business we've known going. this for a month. Nobody has no business. He should okay. talk to him and say, then, he says, oh, it's up to him. No, you're the expert. Say to your son, you need to go back and play another year of college basketball. We, we began with a discussion of uh, measuring. Let's end right. it with a discussion of measuring. Bronny went to the NBA Combine, and they actually oh. measured him. He has been listed as 6'4 throughout what his he, late high school and, and college. 6'1 and a half. 6'1, yeah. 6'1 no and a half. Well, sp just, and with just, that, just to end on LeBron, yes. one, he had again engendered attention. He showed up at the Cleveland Cavaliers game, you know, pl playoff game with the Celtics, sitting courtside with his wife. He still has a house in Cleveland. Yeah. You know, everybody's saying, oh, is LeBron going to Cleveland again? Cleveland. He can't get away from him. No, you can't they, get away from killing him. So. They, they'd love to have him back. All right. For Rich Basirico and Curry Kirkpatrick, I'm Bob Stevens. We look forward to seeing you next time when we throw some other people under the, the bus. bus.